Hi everyone, how are you? I've had numerous attempts at making this video. Um, I've even been in tears. <laughs> and uh, so much so that I couldn't carry on actually speaking. Which is not good. Not very relaxing for anybody. So, anyway. I decided that I did want to make a video today and I did want to talk about what's going on in the world at the moment namely America really <laughs> where it stemmed um, and I'll tell you the reason for that in a minute so if, if this topic upsets you and you don't want to listen to me by all means please switch off now and I'll make the next video a nice face brushing. I was planning to do this one as a face brushing, but given my own feelings at the moment, I just can't at present. So anyway, on the on well, not the funny side, but I did manage to do a setup here. I got myself a selfie stick the other day which I promised I'd never buy, but I did. And I've set it up with duct tape, typed, uh, type, taped all the way down my um, tripod <laughs> so that um, I wouldn't have to hold my camera and um, or phone and try and record that way. So hopefully this works. I hope you don't find that this is too bright. Um, I These are artificial, unfortunately. But I love English roses and they remind me of English roses. And this is my pride and joy. A, um, I've got my phone, cellulite, cellulite, oh, okay. yeah, lamp. <laughs> it's like a lava lamp, but yeah, just hopefully it's not too bright for you. <laughs> so, back to what I was going to talk about. I've done a lot of thinking over the last few days. Uh, like everyone, I think we've all seen a lot of footage. And like everyone, I think we haven't been happy about what we've seen. But I've been trying to wreck my brain how we deal with it in a peaceful way. And yes, there's the First Amendment and everyone has the right to um, protest. Um, but as you can see, the protests, well, the one in Auckland the other, in yesterday in New Zealand, wasn't violent, <laughs> not that I heard, there was no problems. Um, but the ones overseas have been violent, namely in the States. And it's scary, and it's wrong, because it doesn't achieve anything, it just makes the divide bigger. Um, and it's wrong. And leaders need to stand up and stop it in the right way, not in, the, in a peaceful way, not in a threatening way. Um, but I was thinking, well, what can we as individuals, what can we as people that care about our brothers and sisters, no matter what colour, um, do. And I thought, well, be kind. <laughs> you know, random acts of kindness. If you are uh, in a coffee shop, buy the person next to you with a skin colour that's not yours. <laughs> A cup of coffee, or a cookie, or 
biscuit, depending which part of the world you're in. No, that's a, that's saying, hey, I care, I care about you. You know? Take, um, you know, see, see a police officer in the street. Go up and say, hey, you know, thanks for what you're doing to keep our community safe. Doesn't matter what car skin they've got. Just do it. <laughs> you know, who do we call when everything turns to crap? <laughs> who comes and gets people out of burning cars and, and wades through floods and things to help you when you need it? You know? Who's watching the streets to make sure no one is breaking in to your business while you're in lockdown from COVID-19? You know, not everyone is bad. There are people, yes, that have got the wrong idea about life. And they need to change their attitudes. But if we that realise this, change our attitude. Or just, just do something, you know? Encourage your kids, your nieces and nephews to respect everybody, no matter who they are. You know, if you see somebody lying in the side of the street with his backpack on and looking cold, you know, go to the op shop and buy him a jacket couple of dollars. Go to McDonald's, buy an extra Big Mac, hand it to him. You know, doesn't matter what colour skin he's got. He's not as well off as you are. Is he going to mug you? Well, if he is, then... Just shows that he doesn't appreciate. <laughs> I don't know. We need to do something, don't we, as human beings? We need to start standing up and looking after each other and caring about each other. We all live on this planet, you know. There's one thing COVID taught us. It doesn't care what colour skin you've got or how rich you are or poor you are what country you're in it just takes over everything you know you think we'd learn by that and the fact that the planet started to mend itself a bit while we were on lockdown what's that tell you you know yes I'm probably a lefty and oh, I don't this left and right business is ridiculous. We should be in Middle East. <laughs> you know, we should all care about each other. Gee, we all only get one life, one time on this planet. You know, guys shouldn't beat it on their wives. You know, this is the person that they married. <laughs> and they're supposed to love them. You don't beat up on them and your kids. And we all have hard days. You know, and as I said, this was going to be a video like this, but I have faith. I don't know why I should, but I do have faith that at some stage we are all going to come together, the human race, and start respecting each other. And start respecting the planet. Start respecting all the creatures in the planet. Because. What else is there? You know. We all have. Well. A lot of us have kids. Or are going to have kids. And what future are we making for them? We keep on. 
each generation keeps on. Um, creating hate. And for what? Where is it getting us? It's not getting us anywhere. It just makes us miserable. <laughs> if you can honestly be happy hating somebody, <laughs> I feel very sorry for you. You know? So, yeah. Random acts of kindness. Even if you haven't got money. You don't need money to be kind. Even a smile. And a hi, how are you? I hope you're doing okay. It's only words, but... When's the last time someone walked up to you and said hi, that didn't know you and said, Hi, are you having a good day? How are you? I don't know. People probably think you're weird. <laughs> Or even just say, hey, have a good day as you're walking past somebody. <laughs> Doesn't cost you anything. You might make their day. They might think you're weird. <laughs> you might make them laugh. <sighs> I don't know. I don't have the answers. I wish I had the answers. I wish the world leaders had the answers. I wish the world leaders would re oh, act by example and, 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 and act in a way to um, appease people instead of provoking them. Because they do it all the time. Media provoke people. They put on all the bad stuff. Bad stuff sells papers. Bad, so I, bad stuff makes ratings. Sex makes ratings. <laughs> Not saying sex is bad, but <laughs> we won't go there. Um, I just don't feel anything made you laugh. I just want everyone to be happy. And if I've given you an inkling, just a tiny smidgen of hope <laughs> that if we all work together this can work out, well, that would be great. <sighs> anyway, I've made this 30 minutes. <laughs> You're probably sick of hearing my voice by now. And um, who am I? Who am I to tell you what to do? I'm just a silly woman on YouTube. So, even, just be kind. It doesn't matter who you are. Just be kind. Be kind to everybody. Don't be so scared of somebody else walking down the street. We all do it. We all stereotype. Don't. Try not to do it. I know I do. I know I do. I just, you know, if I see someone in a hoodie and cap and walking like this, yeah, I feel intimidated. It's not good. I just shouldn't feel that way. Why are we feeling that way? Just like, you know, they say women that um, wear tight dresses or whatever are asking for it. Are they? They might be looking for one particular person. Someone that they want to spend the rest of their life with. Are they asking for it? Don't think so. Not necessarily. Should you give it to them? No.
I'm sorry. This ram ramble rant, whatever you want to call it, is ridiculous. I know. Nope, my hair's going grey. I'm getting old. I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> I care about everybody. I care about my kids. I care about my Māori family. I care about my African-American friend who's going through a hard time at the moment because he's like me. You know, we feel the same way. We feel the same way about the protest. The fact that, yes, it's good to protest, but it's not good to be destructive. It doesn't get anywhere. I was watching his video just yesterday saying exactly the same things and I was thinking yes you're thinking exactly the same thing as I am smiling and super by the way if um, any of you follow his channel as I am my channel he's top bloke <laughs> a gentle giant a really good guy and good friend anyway everybody mm -hmm. um, I've rounded off enough. <laughs> it's probably not been relaxing. I don't know. If you're asleep now, good on you. Um, I'm, I'm happy for you. <laughs> As I say, the next video I make, I'll do a face brushing. I'll do a gentle and kind and soft and... You know... But I needed to get this off my chest. I needed to talk about it. Because it's breaking me in half at the moment. Tearing me and ripping me apart. Seeing the violence. And unrest. It's sad. And we all need to change it. Together, we all need to change it. We all need our children and children's children and children's children's children to go forward in the future as equals so anyway everybody I'll leave it there um, I care about you all you take care of yourselves those that suffer mental illness and anxiety I know this will be putting awful big pressures on you at the moment. But um, go out there and do something for someone. That random act of kindness. Just do it and by goodness you'll feel good about it. I've done it a few times. Probably should be doing it more. But it does. It makes you feel so good. So take care everybody. I'll see you next time. And um, be safe. Not that that's usually my say, but yeah. Be safe out there, huh?